All right, here's another application of that uh, carbon rod oscillator that Laser Saber came up with. And um, I'm running it off a 12-volt battery and a car ignition coil and a CFL that's uh, just the bulb. Uh, it's a 110 CFL, but there's no guts in it. It's just running off the ignition coil. And that's the oscillator right there. Now, this is really a buzzer at this point. I, I went ahead and enhanced it by making three little coils of wire right there and then there's a magnet underneath it. So this is a buzzer now. But uh, what's different is it's using this uh, pencil lead and a copper wire as the contact point. And yes it'll run on other contact points but they have a tendency to weld together. And this for some reason hangs in there pretty darn good. And it makes a darn good oscillator for this CFL. And years ago, before we got involved in the LED uh, work, we were making these uh, homemade fluorescent lights using a car ignition coil and all kinds of different um, drivers for it, including a 12-volt car relay driver that uh, the problem was it was very noisy. And it was the emo teep project. I don't know if any of you are still around that uh, worked on the EMOT project, but one of the problems was it was very, very noisy. And this one isn't. This one barely makes any noise. And it is a buzzer, and there, uh, there's no doubt about it. It's an uh, up and down uh, electromagnet buzzer type of oscillator. But uh, using that contact with the carbon rod and the copper wire, you get this pretty darn good light. And uh, that's just a towel I wrapped around the ignition coil. But uh, I was going to make a little um, table light out of this years ago for like a dinner dinner table light. And that was my uh, concept for a little dinner table light. Um, but it never was very good. It wasn't very efficient. So I kind of abandoned it went on to the LED projects. But uh, anyway, that was pretty cool to be able to get that to run uh, more stable with the uh, coil of wire and the, and the magnet and uh, make the CFL work. And that's the latest on that. Thanks for watching.